OnePager Pro is a project timeline app that works directly with Microsoft Project, Project Online, and Project Server. OnePager is designed to take the project plan, or plans, that you already have and quickly create eye-catching, communicative, and data-driven visuals that look like you spent hours painstakingly creating them in PowerPoint. Because OnePager works with the project data that you already have, it's much faster and much more accurate than building reports by hand. OnePager will save you time when you first create a chart, and it will save you time again and again as you update your chart over the course of a project. Here's how OnePager Pro works. We'll start with a Microsoft Project Plan. OnePager can also import data from Project Online and Project Server, but in this example, we'll stick to a local MPP file. For more information on Project Online and Project Server, you can watch our more detailed instructions on these platforms. This project plan has a lot of information, and we want our OnePager chart to be a higher-level overview, so we need to tell OnePager which key tasks and milestones should be included in the chart. To do this, insert a flag field, like flag 20, into the project plan and place a yes next to the items that should be displayed in OnePager. You can make charts of various sizes and levels of detail in OnePager, from very high-level overviews to detailed reviews. In this case, we'll keep things at a fairly high level and select around 20 to 30 tasks and milestones. If you have a very large project schedule, you can still select a relatively small number of tasks and create a clear and concise one-pager chart. With your task selected, go to the Add-ins tab of Microsoft Project and click the OnePager Pro button. If you don't have an Add-ins tab in Project, you can also launch OnePager from your Windows Start menu or the desktop shortcut. On the Start screen, click New to build a new OnePager chart. OnePager will provide you with an import wizard which will ask you a few questions about how you would like your chart to look. At the top, OnePager will tell you which file or files it's going to import from Project to create your chart. By default, OnePager will select whatever file you already have open in Project, but if you need to add more files to create a multi-project report, you can click on the Add Remove button. For this example, though, we'll just continue with a single project plan. The template defines the initial look and feel of the chart that you're about to create. As you become a more advanced user, you can create your own custom templates, but for now, we'll just use one of the standard ones. After that, give your chart a name. As discussed earlier, OnePager gives you the option to decide which tasks and milestones to include in the chart. OnePager filters using flag 20 by default, and since that's what we've already set up in Project, we can leave this setting alone. However, you'll notice that you also have the option to select everything in your project or create a more advanced custom filter. Most users are happy just using the flag field. The snapshot date is the status date of the report that you're about to create. Over time, you can update the same chart with a different snapshot date, which will enable OnePager to track changes to your project as they happen. Typically, when creating a new chart, you can just set the snapshot to today's date. Everything looks good, so we can click on the Create New Chart button to kick off the import process, which usually goes pretty quickly. Once all of the data is imported from Project and the initial settings from the template are applied, OnePager will render your chart. If you like the chart as it is, and you don't need to make any formatting changes or other adjustments, it's easy to share your OnePager chart with others. Just click the Copy button on the Home tab, and then paste your OnePager chart into PowerPoint, Outlook, or pretty much anywhere else. In all likelihood, when you first create a OnePager chart, it'll look pretty good, but you still may need to change a setting here and there to get it looking perfect. While OnePager does support basic point-and-click editing, much like PowerPoint, the fastest and most accurate way to adjust your formatting is by using the Chart Properties button on the Home tab. Any settings that you adjust using Chart Properties will be data-driven, which means that you can rely on the information you already have in Microsoft Project to drive the look and feel of your chart. On top of that, any changes you make to chart properties can be easily turned into a template down the line. 
So if you need to create the same style of report for a bunch of different projects, you can set things up once and then recycle those settings again and again. We have a separate video that covers chart properties in more depth, so for this introduction, we'll cover the main highlights. Let's take a look at the swim lanes on the left-hand side of the chart. By default, OnePager is going to group your swim lanes based on the Level 1 summary name, which is the top-level parent task back in Microsoft Project. OnePager's swim lanes are data-driven, so while they look at this outline level initially, they can always be adjusted to look at any other field from Project, including enterprise custom fields if you're using Project Server or Project Online. To change your swim lane groupings, go to Home, Chart Properties, Rows and Swim Lanes. The default swim lane grouping is set here. To change things around, we could instead choose to group by resource names. When we click OK, OnePager is going to regroup and resort everything based on the resource assignments so that the swim lanes look like this. OnePager supports up to three levels of nested swim lanes, so if you have a hierarchy in your project plan that you'd like to reflect in OnePager, it's pretty easy to do. Here, we might want to group first by the Level 1 summary name, as we'd done originally, but then group a second time based on the Level 2 summary name. Think of this as grouping first by phase and then by work stream. If you were building a multi-project report across an entire portfolio, you could group first by the project name and then by the Level 1 or Level 2 summary names to create that hierarchy. Once we add that second level of swim lanes, we see the first grouping on the far left and the second grouping right inside it. A third grouping can be added just as easily. Another frequently used setting is the layout, whether you want to create a timeline or a Gantt chart. If we return to the Rows and Swim Lanes tab, notice that we're currently set up to create a Gantt chart with one task per row. We can change this setting to create a timeline instead, and in this case, base that timeline on Outline Level 2. Before we switch to a timeline view, let's give each row in the chart a little extra space, which will improve readability. You can do this by going to the Page Layout tab and increasing the default height of each row. With these changes made, we can click OK, and OnePager will automatically align all tasks with the same Level 2 parent left to right in a single row. This gives you a series of timelines for each work stream. Just like swim lanes, you can create a timeline based on any field from the project plan, so we could just as easily create a timeline for each phase or even for each sub-project. Notice that when you place multiple tasks left to right in a timeline, OnePager automatically optimizes the positioning of your task names as well. This helps to avoid overlapping text and greatly improves the readability. Color can add a lot of depth to your OnePager chart, and there are a number of different ways that you can assign different colors to your tasks and milestones. While you can change colors manually in OnePager, we strongly recommend setting up your color assignments through chart properties, just like the other data-driven options. To do this, go to Home, Chart Properties, and then to either the Taskbars or Milestones tab. On the right-hand side, you'll see that Quick Color Coding is already assigned by Resource. This means that for each resource in the project plan, OnePager will assign a different color. Just like your swim lanes, you can switch this to any other field from your project plan to quickly change how colors are assigned. However, if you'd like more control over how colors are assigned, as well as which shapes are applied to your tasks and milestones, OnePager's patented conditional formatting engine is going to be a much more powerful option. To get started with conditional formatting, we'll first turn off the basic color assignment by switching everything to use one color by default. Now, click on the Manage Rules button to create conditional formatting rules. In conditional formatting, we want to pick which field from project we want to evaluate and what value from those fields we want to look for. Common fields for conditional formatting include status, resource assignment, outline level, and task name or task category. In this example, we'll assign formatting based on the name. 
Each of our work streams represents a sequence of five repeating tasks and milestones, so we can set up five rules to assign a different format to each family of tasks. For example, this first rule states that anything named kickoff should be colored blue. We can copy that rule four more times to capture the other conditions. Now we have a unique color for each type of task. Conditional formatting is not limited to only color. It can also be used to assign shapes instead, which is especially useful for milestones. Currently, all of the milestones in our chart are diamond shapes, but we can assign different shapes to different types of milestones conditionally. Let's modify the existing rules for our milestones to not only assign a color, but also assign a shape. The kickoff milestone can be a triangle, and the launch milestone can be a star. Once these rules are applied, we immediately see the shapes change in the chart without any need for manual editing. Your one-pager chart is a living document. As you make changes to your project plan, you can refresh your chart to get a real-time update or even track changes over time. If you've just built your one-pager chart and you've made some adjustments to your project plan, you can pull these updates into OnePager by going to the Data tab and clicking the Replace Snapshot button. This will re-import your information from Microsoft Project while preserving any formatting that you've already established in the chart. OnePager also lets you refresh your chart over time and track your incremental updates on a weekly or a monthly basis. This is because OnePager supports multiple snapshots at different dates, all within the same chart. Remember that when we first created the example chart, we did so as of today's date. Let's go back into Microsoft Project now and adjust a few tasks. Now in OnePager, we can click the Add Snapshot button and specify a second snapshot date two weeks from today. OnePager will go back to Microsoft Project and will re-import the newer version of the schedule, but instead of simply updating the chart as we did before, it will create a second snapshot in the same report so that we now have one version of the chart from today and one version two weeks from today. If we go to the View tab, we can zoom in a little bit to see the changes that OnePager just made. We can also see a list of all available snapshots. Using the Previous and Next buttons to navigate, we can see how the project has changed between these two updates. As we flip back and forth between these two snapshots, notice the animation that takes place in the chart. The tasks themselves are moving left and right because they are tied to the dates in Microsoft Project. The percent complete bars, shown here in yellow, also change as the project changes. The baselines, if you're tracking them in project, don't move. They stay put, which gives you a good sense for your original plan compared to the current state of the project. For more information, please watch our other videos. Or you can visit us at onepager.com forward slash support or email us at support at onepager.com.